So I reached out to Peak Design. Um, they have not gotten back to me, and that's okay. Uh, I still purchase their products because I'm thinking that these are gonna be amazing. So let me make this video kind of just short and sweet. Let me explain to you guys why these two are so important to me and why I think they're gonna be amazing. I haven't opened them yet. Um, I have this wallet from Apple. It is a MagSafe wallet that can fit three cards in it. And it's been holding me down. I put it on my, you can see, you know, it's like a little bit beat up and stuff, but I put it on my um, phone and I use it and it's it's solid, right? This is going to allow me to be able to have my phone stood up whenever I have the wallet with me. And it will it should work. I think it works in both landscape and portrait. And that's kind of a big deal for me because I'm always thinking about content and wanting to create content and things like that. And um, yeah, so let's open this up. So right off the bat, the wallet feels really cool. I like the feel of this right off the bat it's uh yeah let's take this out let's kind of explore what's happening here so it's like it feels like kind of like denim or something like that i think um okay there we go so you pull this open and oh look at that so this hinge is pretty like secure i like that and uh Hmm. Let's read. Let's do a little reading. Let's see. Stand wallet. And this is something we don't. Hey, read this. We offer a lifetime warranty. Okay, that's cool. Lifetime warranties are cool. Uh, so this is open, pull magnetic tab up to access cards, close, push cards down, not magnetic tab. So you push. Okay, so this is the magnetic tab to access cards. And then push to close it, you push cards down, not magnetic tab. Pull magnetic. Okay, so we don't have cards in it yet. Let's put some cards in it. Boom. Perfect. We got these cards. And I guess. Oh. Like that. Okay. That gets you access to them. And that. Oh, there you go. And that flaps. So we pull this open to get. And then when we're done, put that. Hmm. I like it. Cool. I likes it. Uh, all right, push upward on bottom of wallet when loading cards for secure grip. Put, pro tip, push upwards on bottom of wallet when loading cards for secure grip. I don't know what that means, when loading cards. So when you're putting them in, push upwards when you're pushing them in. Okay, cool. Well, there you go. You have the wallet there. Um, I'm going to, I'm actually using my phone <laughs> to record this. So I will have to do something unique here, and that is... Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I'm using my phone to get this picture, of course, this this video, and it's connected to the microphone. So in a moment, the video audio quality is going gonna, is gonna to drop because I'm going to use this camera for audio once I want to try both of these out. But right off the bat, um, it's pretty good. I like the feel of it. Let's, uh, let's look at this really quick. Stand wallet, get started. Access cards, open magnetic tab and pull up to close. Push cards down. No wallet does not demagnetize cards so when i want to get to my cards all i gotta all i'm supposed to be able to do is just do that and then we can get to them boom i got my cards and then when you're done you should be able to just push them in and then it that's a cool design that's a cool design i i uh i kind of like that um so a couple things though a couple things they also make a regular you know non-stand wallet okay and I'm basically, so I bought this, I bought this mini or mobile tripod, which I'm very curious about, which we're going to open up right now. And I also bought the, uh, the case, which is back ordered, which is kind of good. I guess that it's back ordered because I'm still not 100% certain that I'm going to keep my iPhone 15 pro max. I'm debating if I want to keep that, or if I want to go to the, um, 15 pro, uh, I can't make up my mind on any of these types of things, but that's okay. So that feels great right off the bat. Let's take this out. You got a little case with it too. Very cool. All right, all right. I'm liking this so far. So my thought is if this is always gonna kind of be with me, which is it always gonna be with me? I don't know, maybe. But if it is or if it is not, it's gonna determine a few factors, right? Out of these three things that I'm talking about, again, whether it's the bigger 
case or the smaller one, depending on what I do with my phone, I think I think I'm going to try them out and kind of see what workflow makes the most sense. Um, but I don't know if all three of these are needed. Part of me thinks that maybe the mobile tripod and the and the case or just the wallet. That's if that sounds weird, I know, but I'll I'll explain what I mean in just a second. So here you go. Um rotate, rotate. Is that it? Just like that? Hmm. All right, wait, let's take this menu. Let's take this out. Mobile tripod. Okay, get to know your mobile tripod. Requires peak design case or MagSafe phone case. Okay, cool. I have MagSafe phone case. Cool. So you got that. All right, open. Uh, magnetically connects to the back of your phone. Requires peak design. Okay. Pull legs down or tripod kicks in. Mobile tripod supports your phone and portrait. So it's basically this. It's like this. It feels really good. Um, this ball head thing is really cool that you, it's like secure enough for your phone, but you don't have to like do any loosening or tightening, which is, which I think is kind of good. Um, and this doesn't, it does rotate, but I guess the phone can, can sit either way. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna try this out now. So I'm gonna turn this camera off. I'm gonna take the, the phone and let's put this on and let's try both of these out. So we're gonna try something a little bit different here because I forgot to take the plug out of my top down camera and basically everything that you see me saying right now in the video is didn't get captured so here we go voiceover mode on luma fusion video editing let's go so what i'm doing here is connecting this mini tripod in portrait mode to my phone and noticing that when i do a lot of live streaming i need that bottom port to be available and with this mini tripod there's not a lot of room at the bottom with this with a regular type of USB-C cable maybe if i get one of those angled ones it might work better so i might consider doing that um but i also am just going to show you in just a second that you know having something that could go up a little bit higher um like this other mini tripod or i guess you could say mini tabletop tripod that i have for my phone um is something that i'm so used to having but what we're going to notice too is that like this little ball hinge thing on this um, mini tripod is super stable and the fact is is that even though right now you see me trying to put this on um, like landscape mode I know that I read that it will work on landscape mode but it wasn't working just now because it shames me to say it but basically I'm an idiot um, and just wasn't connecting it to the exact MagSafe spot so here I am reading the manual like all right well how does this uh how do you actually do this well you just actually just connect it where the MagSafe magnet is on the back uh, of the phone so yeah I, I actually brought this device um well the, the wallet as well as the stand to New York City this weekend to just give it like a real world test and they work really well. I mean, I, I'm excited to, you know, kind of show you. Well, here you go right now. You can see that it's it's actually on proper. And so the idea here is like, it's just super convenient. And as I mentioned before, you know, showing you this other tripod that I'm, I carry in my bag all the time. This doesn't have MagSafe on it, which is, if it did, then it would be so much better. But just that whole step of like, you know, opening up the clamp and clamping your phone down it just seems a little bit archaic to me. Um, you know, eventually like I would love anywhere, including these mobile ones, as well as ones around my house. Like I'd love to just cl like mount my phone with a magnet. It's just so much, so much better, so much better and just like easier. Um, but the fact is, is that like this one here is so much smaller compared to the one that I carry around in my bag. So it's very much about use case, right? It's kind of like, like this thing here can just go right like in my bag or my pocket rather, but the the little actual tripod in my left hand there, that that I'm not gonna carry that around, right? That's like a that's a big thing compared to something that's flat. And yeah, the wallet, I'm a big, big, big fan of the wallet. Uh, I really am thinking right now about how practical the kickstand wallet is compared to um, just their regular wallet, but I, I basically am not 100% sure that the kickstand is necessary for me. So I'm thinking about swapping this wallet for their regular one that doesn't have the kickstand because it's 
obviously smaller it's lighter um but the way the wallet the way the wallet works is just extremely good like the the, the little the mag it's a g ingenious design i mean just to get your cards out and stuff it's so much easier to get your cards out than the the old apple one that i have there but as you can see here this one here it does not have any access to anything on the bottom so i i i guess i would say that i could see myself like using this to record I'm not even exactly sure to record like something angled downward, not with the front facing camera. Um, I can see like I was doing that earlier today, actually with tutoring. I had like the phone up and it was pretty convenient because, you know, I didn't have a tripod with me, but I have my, of course, always will have my wallet. So it, th there's a lot of things to consider here. There's a lot of things to consider. You know, I think having your wallet, your wallet's always going to be on you, but is that little mini tripod thing always gonna be on me? No, it's gonna be on me when I think to bring it, but the whole purpose of this is like to, you don't wanna necessarily have to think to bring something. Um, so yeah, I also was trying to um, clap my hand there, probably syncing something back up. I think I'm actually recording now back with the front, but yeah, this this whole video thing was kind of crazy, but the cool thing is I'm actually using my, my new teenage engineering cm15 microphone to do this voiceover and it's kind of giving me some like ideas like voiceovers in lumafusion could be a thing right uh i could now start talking about just recording video content and then doing a voiceover over it and talking about what i'm doing like i never really did that before but i i'm curious to see how this is going to come out first of all um, but the long and short, another thing about this, this, uh, the wallet here is the color. I chose this yellow color cause that's kind of on brand, isn't it? But it's also light. It's a light color. And I mean, the wallet is gonna, it's gonna be doing a lot of things, right? I mean, it's gonna be in my pocket. It's gonna be on tables, on places and, you know, use it as a stand on desks, et cetera, et cetera. And it will get dirty over time, I'm sure. And my wife was telling me like, you know, are you sure you want to, stick with the yellow one i know it's on brand but what about like a darker color so ultimately i now need to determine um for sure i want to i think get the black one for sure i think kind of i uh, are paradoxical but pretty sure i want to get the black one um and swap this for that but now the black one with a stand or the black one without a stand is the question um that i need to figure out i, I still need to figure that piece out uh and you know, Peak Designs products are really good. I, I'm really, you know, happy with them. You know, I, I have their uh, everyday sling that I actually use in the city this weekend too. And was like, oh yeah, I forgot. These are the same same companies here, Peak Design. They do good stuff. Check out their video on this wallet. They're on their website or on YouTube. Maybe it's on their site as well. It's unbelievably just, it's just a very, very good video. Uh, very entertaining and very informative. And I think they did a great job. All right, like and subscribe for more. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.